I actually have something that we could use instead of this. Is it faster? It could be, and much more efficient. And we could do some science behind it. I have two different types of acid we could use. Oh, all right, let's do that. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> this is, you really conceded quickly on that one. Yeah. yeah. Sixty grit to one hundred twenty grit sandpaper is really what you need to make quick work of this. Uh, acid is really just extra. But if you guys have suggestions, please uh, write them in the comments, and maybe we'll try those out. How's it going, Thomas? Good. Working now well. I actually have something that we could use instead of this. Is it faster? It could be, and much more efficient. And we could do some science behind it. I have two different types of acid we could use. Oh, all right, let's do that. That was quick. <laughs> this is, you really conceded quickly on that one. Yeah. Okay, let me get them. Why don't you um, get cut the zip ties off of the roll bar padding on the other side? Oh, uh, okay, and I guess the fire extinguisher here. Uh, yes, be careful though. That's been mounted by an expert. Uh, you half drunk. Yep, I yep. sure am. Uh, what are we doing first, Thomas? We're going to take the rust off the roll cage because uh, some monkey decided they didn't need to paint it when we first got it welded. Yep, that would be my engineer's responsibility right there. I wasn't even here when this happened. <laughs> okay. So we have phosphoric acid. So this is supposed to be phosphoric acid. Yep, that's the it's active ingredient stuff. and apparently it's been discontinued, but you can still okay. get stuff with phosphoric acid. Yep. And then we have muriatic acid, which is apparently a hydrochloric acid. Um, this one's 31%. Uh, and then we have vinegar. Why the still vinegar? And then over here, to stop everything, and to add some safety, I've got this, this delicious stuff, which is baking soda and water. Yep. So I guess if you drink this, just spray this in your face and you'll be good. Y yeah, yeah. That's, that, <laughs> Thomas is also a doctor, so. No, I'm not a doctor. He's a doctor and you can listen Nothing to whatever he here. says. That is pure medical Nothing advice. Nothing do here. Um, uh, but yeah, to stop the activation, so we're gonna do this for 30 minutes to see which one removes rust the best. And uh, yeah, and then we could just stop it by spraying it with uh, water and soda. And we're gonna be applying it with a paper towel. Yep, because we don't have brushes and we're cheap and poor. And, and also, don't wanna go to the store. Yeah, unless we're gonna go eat. All right, so uh, phosphoric acid on the bottom section here. Hopefully this doesn't eat through this glove. God, it looks delicious though. All right, that's one. These are all the delicious pieces of rubber around our roll cage is required. I think that's about $200 right there. We need to buy it at the track last minute. Vinegar is going on this middle section. Careful on that vinegar, it's expensive. Sorry, I just spilled it all over the car. No, this uh, muriatic acid. This is the only one that has a skull on it, so uh, it is, I don't know. You know it's good. Yeah. Is this new? Yeah, I bought that uh, from Ace Hardware. Kind of new. I mean, it's been in my garage. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Just stick your thumb in it. Pop. That's what she said. Thomas, this is a children's show. Just clearly, we are children. Yeah. We should not be, we are not qualified to be doing this. Look at Thomas's arms. Look at that, ladies. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's got a little yellow tint. Oh, watch your face. Okay, all three of them. I'm gonna start a timer for 30 minutes. We should, uh, oh, we still have to do the mirror. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes, and this was this bare phosphoric acid, I think, and then this muriatic acid, hydrochloric acid, and vinegar. It looks like this one, and uh, this one looks like the best to me. So this is the phosphoric, right? Yeah, this bare, 
etcher or cleaner thing. Yeah. And then we got vinegar. <laughs> Doesn't do shit as expected. And then we've got the muriatic acid right there. Turn yellow. But let's uh, let's see what happens when we brush them a little bit and see if one of them maybe reveals a lot more than we least expected. All right, ready, ready. Yes. Oh, that vinegar's really working. No, I think this is the best. Really? Yeah. 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 That's surprising. Maybe that's why it's discontinued, it was too strong. Probably kills fish and causes cancer and all kinds of stuff. Mm, drink it in. On camera, well at least from this, it kind of looks like the that vinegar came out the best. I think it just, oh, it had just the, has the shiny spot. Yeah, I think it has the least amount of rust because like we have the pads. Here. Still pretty rusty. Yeah. Focus you, fudge. There we go. Yeah. All right. So we at least have a conclusion that should help us remove some of the rust. So we'll just coat it. And then while you while it's coated, I actually brushed it last time and I think it came out with a good result. But this is what happens on an uncoated cage. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did on the other side. When it started to rust, I cleaned it and then I put WD-40 on it. Oops. And this is this side. And this is just bare steel with WD-40 after I'd brushed it and cleaned it one time. And I had used that etching acid on this side, but it uh, came out pretty good. And that WD-40 really doesn't help to take off rust, but it definitely does do a good job of preventing the, the metal from rusting again. Like that's just no coating, just WD-40 over metal. But we're gonna paint this white for our new awesome livery that's coming up. All right, I think this is clean. All right, let's take a look. So this is Thomas's side. Now this side was pretty clean before because I do all the hard work. No, I, I uh, did a much better job than Stefan did on the opposite side. That is very true. Getting so much clipping. And did you already clean it down with uh, acetone? Yeah, I just did that. So All right, cool. Should be good to go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We're only gonna do a section at a time so we don't get super frustrated. Lesson learned. Clean your stuff as soon as you get it done. But on my side, well, it's not gorgeous. There's a lot more work to do. And uh, I'm about to wipe this off, but this side I ended up using muriatic acid, and that side I ended up using, was it phosphoric acid? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, muriatic acid is absolutely disgusting. So, I don't think it's worth it. Um, and it's way worse for you than uh, phosphoric acid. You have to, I mean, even outside, I was getting whiffs of that stuff, and it was super, super toxic. Um, but uh, another tip, if you have any adhesive that's on this from your uh, old roll uh, cage padding and stuff, get that stuff off with acetone first before you uh, start cleaning because uh, the acids won't really get rid of it too well and it'll just make a big old mess. So I had to stop and clean it and then do that and then you do that again. But all right, I'm gonna get a little bit more of this done. Muriatic side actually isn't really foaming. I'm wondering if it just all evaporates or what. So when I put it on this side, you can see the foam instantly, which is the baking soda and water turning into salt. And uh, transforming the acid. I mean, that WD-40 really made a big difference on preserving that side. Yeah. That was really, I mean, that's really what that stuff is for. Everybody uses it for just about everything but what it's intended for. But it really does work for that. the end of the day so 
This is what we got done. Almost looks like a real race car. Uh, and Thomas mounted our racing mirror in there. A block of wood to keep it lemonsy, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it's coming along. And uh, maybe we'll uh, do Sebring, which will be cool. I think that's in three weeks from this recording right now. And uh, obviously I got to finish some of the inside of the cage, but you know, we got the outside done. And uh, yeah, in hindsight, if you're not gonna paint your cage immediately, just WD-40 that bad boy. And uh, yeah, anything to add? Oh, we got the GPS in. We just need to uh, do the wiring, but uh, we're gonna wait on that because we were painting the cage and we're gonna zip tie it. So you can see the sensor right there. And uh, yeah, anything else you wanna add, T-Dog? No. Mr. Kim with this gorgeous we're paint in his hair. Car's ready. Car's ready to go. We'll we're taking paid drivers, $10,000 each. Nice. For a full weekend. Absolutely. Come. All right, so this is what we got done today. Well, obviously, it's not the most beautiful example of a painting job, but you know, we put it on with a brush. You could do it with rattle cans if you want, if you want to mask everything off, and uh, you can actually get pretty good result with rattle cans if you take your time and do good prep work. Um, you don't have to look good. You do!